Hi, this is Thomas Lee, Technical Marketing Engineer here at Infoblox. This video is going to show how to implement Infoblox DDI version 8.5 on Nutanix. You will need to download the QCOW image uh, from the support site. Let's go log into the Nutanix Prism GUI. So here's the Nutanix uh, GUI. The first thing that you want to do is you want to uh, select the settings selection from the drop down menu. Then you go into image configuration and this is where you upload your image. So you click on upload image, give it a name, a description if you wish, the image type which will be disk and a storage container. You can select any one of these containers if you wish and then you upload a file and you browse for the file. Okay. Then you go ahead and click Save. Since I've already uploaded images I um, won't click Save here. So we'll cancel out of there. So now we go on to the VM selection to create our VM. So create a VM. We'll give it a name. A description, time zone, vCPUs will set it for two for now, and two cores, and then we need to set the disk. So it's disk, and we need to set it for clone from image service. The next thing we need to do is boot configuration. You can use, leave it at the default, which means it will go through the CD-ROM, the disk, and the network uh, for booting purposes. But since we know that we've already set up the VM, we can set it for disk. Now we need to set up the, the network adapters. It's the same for all of VNIOS, where the first adapter is for management, the second one is for LAN 1, the third one is for HA, and the fourth one is for LAN 2. So I know VR2 underscore 0 is my management network, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And next thing I'm going to come in and add the second add the second NIC. Okay, all done. So we go ahead and save. So we forgot to add the memory, so we'll go ahead and do that. Click save and we're done. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go into the uh, SSH. So we now have to log into the SSH to disable branding. So the first thing that we do is get a listing of the VMs. As you can see, there's, there's the one I just created. If you're running a custom script, then you're going to need to run the command ACLI space VM dot serial underscore port underscore create uh, VM name space index equals zero space type equals K server. In order for the VM to function properly, you need to turn off branding. The command is ACLI. VM dot update and we take the UUID 
which is this right here. Disable underscore branding equal true. So we'll let's go back to the GUI. So we go into VMs, we go over to table, we find the system that we're set up. We highlight it. It's hard to see the highlighting, but it's highlighted. And you click power on. Go ahead and refresh the screen. And you'll see that the launch console um, command is available. So we'll go ahead and launch the console. And there it is. Okay, fast forward uh, through the uh, entire uh, boot up process. As you can see, it's, um, it's ready to go. And the rest of the configuration is just standard configuring of full licenses, temporary licenses, and network configuration. So let me show you where to find the uh, QCAL2 image for the, uh, for the Nutanix uh, integration. After logging in, you go to Downloads, select Product, go to VNIOS, select General Maintenance Products, go to the latest release, in this case it would be 8.4.6, and when 8.5 is released, it would be 8.5. Go down to VNIOS for KVM. And here are the images uh, for uh, the QCAL2 uh, support for member, grid master reporting, and discovery. Thank you very much.